I'm delighted to welcome Keith uh, into the studio because I mean we've all got a right to vote and we should be uh, exercising at that right. Smile in the way there, Keith. How are you? How are you doing? Are you always? Not too bad. And I see you, you have some members of the public here as well. So hello to all the members of the public. Hello, members hey! of the public. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Keith, tell us before we go, and then we've got some questions from them. We've got we do have some questions from the members of the public, don't we? We do. Hey! <laughs> 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 it's not going to plan, is it? <laughs> All right, Keith. Um, Keith, what is the Treaty of Lisbon? How are you, buddies? The Treaty of Lisbon is easy. I knew you were going to say that. And it's about improving decision making and effectiveness within the European Union. Oh, ye, EU. How did we get to here? We all remember the Maastricht Treaty. <laughs> this was followed by the Treaty of Nice. Oh ye, the sun-drenched French town, as opposed to me brother's daughter. And finally, <laughs> now, to Lisbon. Oh ye, the capital of Portugal, as opposed to a woman who enjoys the fruits of other women. <laughs> the treaty, if ratified, will have no direct impact on the artist K.D. Lang. So what impact will the treaty have on me? We must remember, this is a treaty. Oh ye, an agreement as opposed to a small sweet given to a child in between set meal times. The treaty will have far-reaching effects. It will strengthen Parliament's role, i.e. their function, as opposed to the chicken tikka special <laughs> over in the deli in Spar. <laughs> Two, it will increase the significance of foreign affairs, i.e. diplomatic relations, as opposed to a two-week fling with Carlos the sleazy barman <laughs> working over in Fuengarola. And three, it will affect our policy regarding asylum seekers, i.e. political refugees, as opposed to the man looking for directions to the local mental institution. What are the potential downsides of the treaty? The downsides are easy. <laughs> Some commentators worry that the treaty could lead to an increase in the production of arms. I.e. weapons, as opposed to limbs commonly used to play tennis or perform the YMCA song. <laughs> no campaigners worry that we will be passing too much power over to a centralised European elite. They see our national identity as fundamental. I.e. central, as opposed to giving your mad Uncle Tony a few bob at the Christmas. <laughs> What is the likely outcome of the treaty? I recognise that voice. The likely outcome, buddies, is for the treaty to be passed and duly ratified. On the other hand, it should be noted that each European country has the power of the veto, i.e. to reject, as opposed to the diminutive actor memorable for his scene-stealing <laughs> comic cameo in Romancing the Stone, among other movies. <laughs> Keith... You know when you're fin when you go out the door there? Cheers, buddy. When you go upstairs, and we just ask David Mike Williams to come down. I don't know, I'm going to 